Yes, um, I'm going to welcome you today, but I don't have much for you, so our top stories with news. Pleads for assistance and aid after breaking another COVID-19 record. After experiencing a second wave of coronavirus in March, India recorded more than 1 million new cases in just three days. Medical facilities have been running out of oxygen and ICU beds, and many patients have been left outside hospitals waiting for care. New Delhi has been hit the hardest by the pandemic, with the city in lockdown until May 3rd, and a severe oxygen shortage. India's central government has faced harsh criticism regarding the way they handle the virus. Many residents have posted pleas on social media and more f for more federal officials and supplies. Hospitals in Delhi tweeted SOS messages over the weekend begging for oxygen supplies. On Saturday, Prime Minister Narita Modi said his administration will set up 551 oxygen generation plants to ensure adequate oxygen availability in every state. Governor Andrew Cuomo announced yesterday morning that New York State will be having the Great State Fair for all 18 days beginning August 20th. This, this start is considering putting the fair into four sections to control the crowds, which include food and beverage, concerts, amusement rides, and agriculture. As it was before, admission costs $3 per person and children ages 12 and under will be free. The only buildings that will be open at the fair are the bathrooms. Cuomo is not making a vaccination requirement. A man was arrested by Syracuse police after intentionally hitting a woman with his car on Saturday night. Rowan, Rowan was charged with second degree assault and fourth degree possession of a criminal weapon. Police say Rowan intentionally hit Natasha Vargas with the car after they had a dispute and he fled the scene. She was taken to Upstate Hospital. She is expected to survive. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Senior Variety Show participants, you need to sign up for your rehearsals and recording times this week and as soon as possible on the classroom. Any seniors that want to submit photos for the Senior Variety Show slideshow, please do so by Saturday, May 1st at 4 p.m. Photographs must be submitted by the, by the following email, and that email is s svsesm21 at gmail.com. And as always, any questions you have about the Senior Variety Show, please contact Mr. Burgess and or Ms. Kakamo via email or Google Hangout. Class of 2024 is having Chipotle fundraiser this Wednesday, April 28th from 4 to 8 p.m. Online orders only, and your order code for that is going to be QD8ZMGR. Please put this code in the promo code section. And now for weather. Our Barton Junior Honor Society has partnered with the Food Bank of CNY to help fight hunger during the pandemic. To help out, you can visit foodbankcny.org and donate. There will also be a shopping cart in the main lobby where you can donate physical goods. The physical items will be donated to St. Matthew's Food Pantry. The virtual food drive will go to May 15, 2021. During this time of need, donations are needed more than ever. If you have any other questions, please speak to Mr. Sweeney or Ms. Mock. with sun and clouds and possibly a rain shower. Wednesday will be warm with a high of 72 and for the next three days expect rain showers and thunderstorms. Saturday will clear up to have cool weather and sunshine and next week we have chances of showers again. I'm Emily with your weather.
volleyball team finished their season Friday night with a loss 3-2 in five sets at Oswego. Leading the way for the Spartans was Devin Moscato Buffalo with 34 assists, while Aiden Infinity added 15 kills and Nick Brown added 11 kills. Aiden Betts added 7 kills and Cole Thomas finished with 20 digs. The team finished with a 9-5 record overall and league best 6-1 record, winning the Division II SCAC Empire Division. Congrats to all the players winning a league title in their very first year of varsity volleyball. On Thursday, the NFL Draft starts with the first round. Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots are willing to trade out to draft quarterback Justin Fields. And in upcoming games, the ESM football team has their final game of the season tomorrow at 6 p.m. against Indian River at home. The boys lacrosse team has a game at New Hartford, and the girls lacrosse team has a game at South Jefferson. And I'm John with your sports. Well, that just covers about everything we have for the show for you today. So from me and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a good day.